हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज तनिजा गुप्ता वेलकम टू माई चैनल एंड लेट्स हैव अ लुक ऑफ द नेक्स्ट वीडियो अबाउट द फोटो सिंथिस विच इज वॉट कीमो ऑस्मोटिक हाइपोथिस ओके प्रीवियसली वी ऑल वी हैव डन ऑल अबाउट द लाइट रिएक्शन साइक्लिंग नॉन साइक्लिक फोटो फॉस्फोराइजेशन एवरीथिंग सो इफ़ यू रियली वॉन्ट टू नो अबाउट दोज वीडियो आई विल शेयर द लिंक इन माई डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स यू कैन वॉच दोज वीडियोज ओके सो लेट्स स्टार्ट द कीमो ऑस्मेटिक हाइपोथिस वॉट डज इट मीन एज इन नॉन साइक्लिक प्रोसेस एन ई डी पी एच इज ऑलरेडी फॉर्म विद द हेल्प ऑफ एन ई डी पी डिडक्ट इज दिस वन ओके दिस एन ई डी पी इज ऑलरेडी फॉर्म विद द हेल्प ऑफ एन ई डी पी डिडक्ट इज नाउ दे इज अ टाइम टू फॉर्मेशन ऑफ द ए टी पी ओके सो ए टी पी फॉर्मेशन is known as the chemo osmotic hypothesis this hypothesis explain how this atp get formed okay so first of all uh, this is the structure of a thylakoid okay i'll show you this is the grana i told you already so what happened this is the thylakoid membrane and i have taken this one part this is the enlarged view of this single part of thylakoid okay so outside of it what is the stroma is present okay this is the thylakoid membrane this portion is the thylakoid membrane i'll write here thylakoid membrane okay and the inner portion this inner portion is the lumen okay so this is how i am explaining uh, a thylakoid membrane structure now what happen why this atp get formed because of the formation of one thing that is called the proton gradient proton gradient now what does it mean see proton means what hydrogen ion and gradient i have told you gradient means what there is a Uh, sequential distribution of hydrogen ion means what gradually it, it is it is getting reduced or gradually it is getting increase okay this is called the gradient i mean uh, first higher amount then lesser 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 like this or first the low amount then higher 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 okay this is called the gradient fine so because of the formation of gradient proton gradient the uh, gradient has to be maintained okay it is i mean uh, we cannot leave the cell like this the like in one portion hydrogen ion concentration is very much high and in one con uh, uh, side the concentration is very much low we have to maintain this equilibrium and while maintaining this equilibrium atp formation occur okay so uh, with the help of us Uh, complex which is called the atp synthase so let's have a look why this protein gradient formed okay actually this protein gradient form in the lumen region okay and this thylakoid membrane non cyclic process is taking place right okay as you know in non cyclic photosystem second it start from photosystem second goes to pheophytin plus to quinon then cytochrome b6 f plus to cyanin photosystem 1 then goes to frs fd ferrodoxin and ultimately it form the nadph okay now for photosystem second again because electron doesn't get back to the photosystem second so this electron is taken from the hydrogen molecule due to the splitting of this hydrogen molecule this hydrogen molecule or this complex is attached with this photosystem on the inner side on the inner side of this thylakoid membrane means what it is getting attached over here okay over here it is getting attached so what happen it gives the electron to the photosystem second but it also release hydrogen ion and oxygen this oxygen is released outside the cell but this hydrogen ion is remain inside this lumen so there are so much hydrogen ion get release inside the lumen okay so uh, first is the reason is of because of the splitting of water splitting of water okay now the second reason why the gradient protein gradient form inside the lumen see plastoquinone it take the electron now this plastoquinone get reduced into the pqh2 okay so for this the hydrogen is taken off from the stromal region from the stromal region hydrogen is taken inside and plastoquinone is getting reduced clear now when it again release the electron this hydrogen has to be removed then only it will release the electron and this hydrogen is removed inside the lumen okay so again the hydrogen ion getting inside the lumen region 
are you clear i'm repeating again plastic union get reduced by taking the hydrogen from the stromal region okay it get reduced again it release the electron to their next uh, cytochrome and this hydrogen is released inside this lumen okay so second reason is because of the plastoquinone okay it release the hydrogen ion into the lumen clear okay the third reason of hydrogen proton gradient formation is here what happen this nadp when it get reduced with this electron it also need the hydrogen and this hydrogen again also taken from the stromal region from the stroma this hydrogen is taken and it get reduced but here there is no hydrogen is coming inside yes of course but what happened because they are taking the hydrogen from the stromal region this also taking the hydrogen from the stromal region so what happened in the stroma region there is a very less hydrogen concentration because they both are taking continuously hydrogen from the stromal region and hydrogen is getting collected in the lumen region okay and the hydrogen getting released or collected into the lumen region clear right so this is how the third reason due to the nadp get converted into nadph okay nadph with the help of nadp reductase so this hydrogen is taken from the stromal region so so there is a very less quantity of hydrogen ion in the stromal region so these are the three reason by which the proton gradient formation occur now proton gradient has been formed right okay but what happen this proton is need to be released outside so that this gradient equal to the outside of the stromal region so this hydrogen is getting released through a complex which is called the atp synthase which is actually release this hydrogen so three hydrogen are getting released and from during release of three hydrogen there are some changes takes place in this complex and adp get bind with the phosphate molecule and converted into a high energy molecule which is the atp molecule in this synthase there are two portion f0 and f1 this f0 is totally embedded into the thylakoid membrane and f1 is protruded outside the surface of this thylakoid membrane this is the thylakoid membrane it's protruded outside the surface of the thylakoid membrane and it release the atp molecule okay so this is how this atp formation occur i hope this video is clear to all of you uh, any doubt you can post your query in the comment box and if you want any particular topic then you can uh, also post in your comment box i will uh, prioritize those topic and uh, if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe my channel and thank you so much for watching this video